Two very uh, lively ladies here. Our next guest, an accomplished actress, accomplished businesswoman. They've teamed up to make a documentary to tell the stories of female-founded business ventures. It's the great Sharon Gless, uh, Don Lafriti here as well. Ladies, good morning to you both. Nice to good see you. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, the last time you were here, the documentary had just finished production, but you had been busy then. Now that it's out in the world, what, what's it like and, and how have people been responding to it? Very well. Um, and I'm not just saying that. Right. Um, I've been to four, four cities where it's aired, and we've, we, we have won Best Documentary of the Year so far. And, and Dawn, for the unfamiliar, what is the documentary about? Well, the, the documentary sheds um, the light on how women only get 2% of the venture capital fund in America. And venture capital money is about $240 million billion a year, and women get 2% of that money. 2%. So it is just... Unbelievable that we get such a small percentage of the available money out there. So the film, in a very engaging, entertaining, educational way, takes the viewer through the process of what venture capital money is, how they go about getting it, resources to get it, and it's it's it's. Um, I learned a ton, and I and I knew about venture capital money. So it's it's an exciting project. A lot of people have heard about VCs. Do you think that is? Um sexism at work or do you think there are fewer female entrepreneurs or oh, no. what explains I, that disparity <laughs> well you're talking to a female entrepreneur right. so i think there's plenty of us out there i think what female entrepreneurs don't always know is that there's resources available to them and this film teaches them about that but it also teaches investors where they should put their money and and what can work well for them and we have to start investing in women because exactly we create them to invest in women because in we women's create, companies because they're out there and we create a lot of great ideas that don't ever get brought to the forefront because we can't get the financing. So this movie shares that story. Sharon, you've had remarkable success as an actress. At, at, did you start out with a day job? Do you know what I, I mean? did? I was a secretary at the studios. Okay. I did. And um, someone very nicely took me from behind the secretary's desk and put me in front of a camera. But I started out at $186 a week as an actress, as a contract player. And when Tyne and I got together, it changed certainly my life and hopefully hers. And um, we ended up, when they canceled us and brought us back, right. we became the highest paid women in television. Well, speaking of Tyne, how about a little bit of a reunion uh, to that end? Tyne Daly is actually here. And so, watch this. Oh my! She will emerge. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> oh my here. God. Uh, nice to see you. Nice to see you. There you are. Oh my nice God. How you doing, honey? Hi, honey. So, Kat, you're relaxing you for you. Oh, my God. Hi. <laughs> Why, Dawn? Oh, you're so beautiful. Hi, sweetheart. Mm -hmm. Back oh, at the Hello. <laughs> What Not a treat. This is my friend who's turned herself into an entrepreneurial um, Make yourself at home. person. I'm so uh, not to mention the book. Have you have you have you flogged the book? <laughs> <laughs> the book is terrific. I've read the book. I haven't plugged the book. Right. Oh yeah. But, but you know what? She, she brought up how that when the two of you were doing Cagney and Lacey, that that initially did you feel underpaid and underappreciated, and then things changed? Uh no. I just felt lucky. And uh, to have a steady job, you know, because there had been a, a number of offers to do series, and I said I wasn't interested. Anyway, the, 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 the material itself was fun. The opportunity was fun because I was listening to your conversation. <laughs> oh, honey. <laughs> but in terms of, you know, wasting 50% of the world's talent, the uh, police departments all over this country realized that they, they were wasting the talent to not have women to be able to come and deal with the terrible things that were happening to women, to the... Sh stuff that women's stuff would maybe be better served if they had women talking about it which oh. so there's that and we were paid we were paid well for we were paid well right. yeah and then we were fired and then we were paid a little better you weren't paid as much as the men though were you no no so there, it didn't so there occur was... to us to ask I was so excited. We're making more money than any other woman oh, on TV yeah. right I no. never occurred to me to ask what the men were making yeah well, All right, and then, and then did, said, did, was it ever pointed out to you that there was a disparity? And did you have a thought about that? And did you have a thought about that disparity? Yeah, I thought it sucked. Pardon me. <laughs> <laughs> um, but in, those, in that day and age, it, was, it, it wasn't a thing that we fought for because we were women, we wanted to make as much as they did. It, it, as big a star as you are is how you get paid, right. not what sex you are. Well, but then you'd see Meryl Streep getting up and applauding at the Oscars about, about equal pay. <laughs> you know, right. Um, um, right. The disparity of pa pa patriarchy is t real. 
This is real, you know. So, so, um, so that's the excitement about this film of women being made more aware of. Yeah. The money is there. Right. It's just, it, it's just the one thing that is happening in, in show business, the two of you are certainly aware, reunions, reboots, things like that. Mm -hmm. Would you ever want to visit these characters again? We did it. We did reunion ones did called reunion. the menopause years. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now we're past They put me in menopause. She, right. of course, got to stay young forever. Right. Um, uh, but we do it again? Uh, well, uh, I would Cagney do anything in the home? with you again. Pardon me? Cagney and Lacey in the home? In the <laughs> okay. home. I don't know about uh, that. Honest to God. You're, you're heading back to Broadway. I it am. Is. In a minute, yeah, I have no idea why I'd want to throw myself in the mouth of the lion again. Right. But uh, it's a great play. It's a wonderful play with a wonderful cast and, and, a, and a solid uh, uh, Broadway reputation for the roundabout theater so yeah i have in the new year i have an assignment there you go that always makes actors happy well i tell you what uh <laughs> we're going to continue to kibitz all day uh, uh -oh. we'll let you know where you can see the, the documentary movie. show her the money will be this <laughs> friday and saturday lemley uh, monica film center first through the seventh actually we're all week at the lemley in santa monica so right. all right out. different show times uh you want more information uh where you can see it is a lemley.com that's a fabulous uh, pair of theaters by the way so that's great show her the money is a terrific terrific title ladies this was so fun thank, thank you all thank you for thank having you so us much. pleasure to have gotcha you. look at that Let's we'll go back breakfast. to you guys <laughs> what a beautiful moment yeah. that was great who doesn't love a reunion yeah. love that